Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am making a little Christmas make today and I'm going to use the Night Before Christmas suite from um, our Autumn Winter catalogue. Now, the um, suite is just amazing because, let me show you, I have got the full suite, which incorporates all the dyes and everything. And this is it here. And what we're going to do is we're going to cover a little craft bag that I had in my stash. Okay, it's just a little white craft bag. Um, that's not stamping up, so you won't find that in the catalogue. You can make your own though if you wish, but for quickness, um, I'm using a contraband one. So today we're using um, the Night Before Christmas Memories and More envelopes, okay? And it's just a way to show you how to make a, a decorate a bag, really. So, let me see. Now, the the colours that I'm going to stamp in is going to be Crushed Curry, because that's my new one. And um, my, my latest ink colour, and I've not actually used this yet. So, look forward to that. Oh, I have used it, actually, once. Right, anyway, I'm taking this piece of DSP that measures 6x6, um, six six, <clears throat> and I've got one of the Memories and More very vanilla envelopes okay what we're going to do is we're going to cut this down so that it fits inside the the border of the envelope okay so um if I take my big huge massive ruler right so we want an eighth of an inch border so that measures four by four by six on the inside exactly so that's handy So we're going to cut this down to make sure your direction's correct. We're going to cut this down to um, three and seven eighths by five and seven eighths, like so. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're just going to glue that onto the envelope. You see it has a nice little border all the way around there now. So if I grab my glue. I really do need to get some snail adhesive. That would be perfect for doing this project. So I hope everyone's had a good weekend. I'm recording this on Sunday late lunchtime. And it feels feels a lot later because it's so dull here in Scotland and it's been raining that bad that poor husband's golf club was closed today. So he didn't get to um to play any golf, unfortunately. Okay, now keep your little scrap back because we may use that in the project as well, okay? Now, what we want to do is we want to seal this. I know you're thinking, oh, maybe that's a waste of an envelope, but um, I do have a, a, a supply of these, so don't worry about that. Okay. And this is going to go onto our little bag. Now, this bag measures... measures four... Just almost four and three quarters by just over seven. Okay, so if I open this up and I just want to position it so that it's got an even border at the top and bottom. Okay, so that's fine. I just wanted to eyeball it there. Right, so we're going to glue this on. Please use a uh, um generous amount of glue okay and then we're just going to make sure that that is adhered down okay now make sure your sides are all glued you may want to actually use red tape for this because um it would stick it a lot faster. Okay. Stick, stick, stick. Right, now. Sentiments. Let's find my coordinating set. So this is um, Holly Jolly Christmas. Isn't that adorable? Now we have the coordinating die. So I think I may um, do some die cutting. 
Yes, I think I will. What I'm going to do is I'm going to die cut the Santa and his sleeves. And I'm also going to... Can I just quickly see those? See these little dies? The little parcel one actually fits um, the little image on this parcel um, printed paper. That tall one there, adorable. I already have some cut out because I... Um, I cut them out on my scanning cut. So I already have some cut out, which you can see in here. Right. Now, I'm trying to think what colour I should do this. Do, 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 do. I'm not sure. You know what I think I'll do? I think I'll add a, um, a second border in here. So, let me put this wee die back. I don't know if I'll do die cutting. I shall see, I shall see. So what we can do to utilise this, um, we can actually layer that up to make a little, um, what, oh God, what's it called? God, I can't think. A little um, sentiment area. <laughs> what am I like? Yeah. So, I'm undecided. I'm undecided. Hmm, no, I'm not going to do that. What I am going to do though, is get out my big shot. <clears throat> so put that to the side. Um, and I think I'll cut some stitch sheet dies. Namely, the, um, the circle shapes. So, if I grab them, I've got stitch labels as well that would go good. I've got the pretty label dies as well. I've got um, quite a few here. But this is the one that I want. Okay. Right, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I think I'll use the ovals for a little change. So I'm going to go with the, the biggest size oval, oval and the next one down. Right, so let me pop them out the way. Now, paper. I need some very vanilla. Now, very vanilla is going to be the smaller of the two. And I have some cut-offs here. So if I use that, that will be absolutely fine. Pop that to the side. And I'm going to use... I'm not using cherry cobbler. I'm going to use um, mossy meadow for the bigger one. Okay. Now, let's find my mossy meadow. Okay, so I've used the same piece here. Oh look, there's a die cut that fell out of there. Keep that for after. Right, so I'll apologise just now if my um if the desk moves. Right, where have I put my other plate? Right, I've got it there. Right, so I'm just going to pop this through quickly. Da -da 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 -da. So, you've maybe heard the news that um, us demonstrators have, most of us have ordered the new trimmer from Stampin' Up. So, I look forward to doing a, um, a showcase of that as soon as it arrives, hopefully this week sometime. And um, I'll do a little comparison um, on the differences or improvements from our current trimmer, the one that's required now. Right, so that was easy, and I'm kind of hoping that in the new year we will have news about our new stamping um, die cut machine, because that big shot really is getting unmanageable in terms of strength in my hand. 
Right, so this is a wee bag. Lovely. How adorable is that? I do like it, I do like it. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Just seeing how that would look with a little border across it. Nope, not going to do that. Right, so what I am going to do is I'm going to stamp. Now, before I stamp, I'd just like to see that the larger size Memories and More cards from this suite actually fit in perfect as well. So if you're looking to do a quick bag, um, you can layer it up with an the envelope or the matching cardstock and then simply pop that on the front. So I am definitely going to make some bags using um, this pack. Because as I'm a demonstrator, I don't hold on to stuff after it retires, so I need to make sure I use it. Okay. Right, now, what I'm going to stamp. I am going to stamp um, a little bit of Santa's face on here. Okay, so I need a big block. I think I'll just use this one, because I'm only using the top part. Okay, so... Need a bit of paper. So, I hope you all enjoyed um, World Card Making Day yesterday. I had so much fun. I um, done a little raffle with the ladies at my craft class. So everybody got a little free prize. Um, so that was good. Right, so. I'm going to ink the whole thing up. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a sore throat. Right, now, just trying to decide if I want my tag to go to the side. I think I will. So I'm just going to stamp on here like so to get Santa's face. Isn't he adorable? Right, and then I'm going to use Cherry Cobbler or Real Red or you know what I may use. I may use, I'm trying to think what colour that is. What colour is it? What colour is it? Um, I'm dropping everything here. Um, let me quickly check the catalogue because I can't, for the life of me, um, remember what that blue's called. So if I go back to the suite, it will tell me the coordinating colours that go with the. Um, Paper. Knight of Navy. That's not Knight of Navy. Cherry Cobbler. Oh, it's Pretty Peacock, Trisha, for God's sake. Pretty Peacock, of course it is. And I looked at that and I didn't see it. I knew it was an in colour, just couldn't remember the name. Right, so. How are we for time? 13 minutes, that's fine. Um, dee 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 dee. Right, what shall I do? I think I'll do um, Love Santa. I think that's absolutely adorable. Right, now. I'm just going to pop that right there in the middle. Like so. Do like that. Okay. And then... You don't even need to layer it, actually. That looks pretty the way it is, but I like to layer mines. I'm going to do that. Adorable. Now, where to position it, I do not know. Um, hmm. What I think I will add, though, is I'm going to add some gold um, spruce. Sprigs, sorry. There's the one. Now I'm just want to compare how these cut, depending on which we you um, put your paper. Right. So the better cut is having the gold side up, like so. I just thought it was maybe um, there would be a difference in there is. Right. That's fine. Right. I'm going to glue this on. Um, no, I'm going to dimension it on. Make up your mind. Make up your mind. Oh dear. Alright. Let's get these dimensions on. 
Okay, 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 okay. And I'm putting them on dimensions just to allow me the um, room to stick the sprigs under it. Do like that. I just think it just, adding the sprigs, it's such a versatile um, punch. Use it for any occasions. Right, so that's one on. And I'm going to put the other one to the side. Now I'm just going to rip that in half because I'll apply them separately. So that may be a sneak. Oops, what's your glue? What's your glue? Sneak them under there. Very pretty. Very pretty. Right. So I've just done that. I think that's adorable. I do like that. Right, now, I'm going to stick this down with glue. Now, there is the coordinating ribbon, remember. Um, I'm not using that today, I'm going to use white twine. But, in these Memory and More card packs, you get um, various sticker sheets. So, I'm going to use some of those today, rather than, rather than embellishments. I'm going to add them onto here. And of course, you do have printed ones as well, let's say to and from, that you could stick on as well. Right, so, all these colours coordinate with each other. They're all designed to go together, so just pop them on. And the magic will happen. And one more, let's see, I'll put here is pretty peacock colour. And I like to go, I'm going to go with an odd number, so I'm going to pop the little Mossy Meadow one on as well. I think it looks odd with four. Yeah, five does it for me. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Do you like that? Right, let's get that stuck down. Um, so, I am using a lot of glue. right in the middle. Okay, let's make sure it's all lined up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm just going to set my, set my um, sprig punch on it just to give it some pressure and keep it down there. And I am then going to add a little label. Okay, so for the label I am going to use one of the little um, cards and from the memories and more. So I just need to find out which ones I have left, if I have any. If not, I will utilise. Um, you know what? I'm going to just utilise the piece of um, DSP cut off here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use that. Right, I think that's done, I think that's done. Okay, now I'm going to take the um, scallop tag punch and this is a two inch width. I'm just going to pop that in there. Okay, so I need to pop that down to two inches, so I'll do that off screen a wee second. Lovely. Okay, now I want the direction from the top, like so. Love it. And then all I need to do is trim that down. Trim it down. Oh, I'm whistling. Trim it down to, I don't know, let me see. Three inches roughly. Yep. And I'm going to line it with a piece of very vanilla. Okay. 
Now, I'm just trying to utilise my scraps. So I've got a piece here that's going to fit perfect. Yep, so if I just trim that off. Just doing it by eye. Right, so let's stick that down. That's going to be the little label. Like so. Love it, love it, love it. Right, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple of these candy canes. Um, just at the top there. Now, I don't have a set that says to and from. I do have the well-written set, but I don't have time to get that out today. But you can just um, write that one by hand as you wish. So, I don't think I'll use any of these other ones. I think that's absolutely adorable. Now, I'm not going to tie it on this way. I want to tie it on that way, just to see a little comparison. Right, but I want to stamp something on here. And I'm going to stamp the word believe at the bottom there. I'll just remove my dirty stamp. Pick this one up. And again, I'm going to do this in the Pretty Peacock. Because I think it's adorable. Pop that on there, like so. And Bob's your uncle. Love it. Easy peasy. Now, the reason I'm using an M twine is because... Where's my white twine? I've got the white twine. I also have... Um, I have mossy meadow too, but and I also have cherry copper. Ooh, decisions I'm spoilt for choice. Um I'm just going to use the white. Right, now I want to use this white because I am going to attach some of the little jingle bell embellishments. So I'm going to use a green and a red one, okay. So all I want to do is feed it through like so. Quite a big um, hole here for feeding it through, so that's perfect. <laughs> How adorable. I'm gonna attach them onto there and then onto the actual bag. Right, so how am I gonna do that? Right, first of all, I'm going to cut cut the twine down. Okay. And all I want to do is want to get the even um, length of each side and tie it. Keep that secure. Right, and I'm... Okay, shh, I'm doing a video, darling. See you later. Shut the door. <laughs> Can't believe he's going out in the rain. Right, so I've just fed that through like so. I'm not tying that. I'm going to tie it on here. And then I am going to make a little bow on the front. What the hell am I doing? Right, wrap that round. Right, and I want it high up because it... Oh, I'm off screen. I want it high up because... Um, I don't want it to, in fact, I'm going to put it on the other side. I don't want it to um, cover the um, main part of the bag. Right, so make sure you're tying it to the right handle. Okay. Oops, my phone's buzzing. So I'm going to tie it on there. Tie it in a little knot. Like so, and then tie it in a little bow. Easy peasy. Tie it tight. You might want to double double knot it. Right, I'm just going to pop this out of the way now so you can actually see what I'm doing. Right, so there is our gorgeous little bag. Bye! <laughs> Bless them. So, if I just open it up <clears throat> and you can hear how jingly jangle it is. I think that's absolutely adorable. Isn't it? Cute. Right guys, that is it for today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Um, like I say, you don't have to use your actual coordinating envelopes. You can use other DSP, um, Real Red or whatever colour you wish that goes with this suite. And then you can simply use some of your memories and more card packs. And just pop them on there. Easy peasy. Here's another 
example of one that's a bit too busy <laughs> with that border but you can see how easy they are to make and these are great also for making quick easy cards right guys i'll leave all the links below and um, please visit the full blog over at smithscraftcreations.com like comment share and subscribe to my youtube channel if you have a wee minute um, I'm, I'm chasing the thousand marks so that i can um, get more perks on my channel one of which is lives the other one is um, being able to message on the actual YouTube feed without having to put a video up. Um, so that would be good for um, important news items and things like that. So please keep sharing. I appreciate every single one of you. And um, I'll speak to you again soon. Okay, bye.